I often have trouble with the morality of stealing. Due to the repeated viewing of some of the best heist films in history, I find myself going into retail outlets and examining the security systems, you know, watching the exits, looking for holes in the camera layout. And while I think it might be interesting to execute a heist myself, I can never actually do it. I know that someone somewhere will probably get fired as a result of my actions. I, I couldn't live with myself if that happened. Have you ever repeated a word to yourself over and over until it lost all meaning and all you were left with was the sound? So you write it down and you just can't believe that those letters in that order make that word that means that thing? And then you're suddenly seized with this uncontrollable fear that the word has lost all meaning to you forever? It happened to me with the word smock. 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 those promises from those other electric companies turn out to be empty rhetoric. What we've learned from deregulation is that the same low prices and customer service from our public utility will always be there. Come on, man. Is that all you got? Dude, what do you want from me? I'm an electrician. I don't understand bisexuals. Our cats are plotting against us. You like Huey Lewis in the news? When you meet a woman that you just want to hang out with, she mistakes your sincerity as an attempt to get her into bed. But the people you want to have sex with think you just want to be friends. On Sundays when you lie around all day watching football, your dog worries that there's something wrong with you.
I like macadamia nuts. Really? I myself prefer a heartier brand of nut, one that hits the stomach with an oomph and charges the colon without fear. I like your tie. I like the way you stand. It exudes a certain kind of confidence. Mm. People sense that about you. What you need now is an air of mystery. Then all the chicks will find you irresistible. I had a lot of trouble picking my pin number. You know, I wonder if Avril Lavigne will join the pantheon of artists who you'll be ashamed to have in your CD collection. I mean, I don't know if she can be lumped in with Joey Lawrence or Shaquille O'Neal or even Wright Said Fred uh, for the simple reason that she writes her own stuff, but I do think that it's an interesting question. I have every episode of Cop Rock on tape. I love your glasses. I think they look so good on you. In fact, I think you have excellent fashion sense in general. I am always so happy when you're sitting here and I can walk by and see you wearing some cute outfit. Thank you very much. I have a fiance, and in six years I'm going to realize that I'm a lesbian. But I'm really glad you told me that. I've always hated you for no apparent reason. It's okay. I hate you too. I feel really bad about it. I know, me too. But there isn't really anything you or I can do about it. We'll both have meaningful and complete lives without each other's company, and in the end, we'll both die not even remembering the other existed in the first place. Well, as long as there are no hard feelings. Not at all. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> all right, take it easy. See ya. Asshole. Douchebag. The best vehicle I ever had was a big wheel. Hell of a lot better off-road than an SUV, I'll tell you that. Have you ever had the uncontrollable urge to strangle Dr. Phil? I love Diet Vanilla Coke. I think you are a tremendously attractive young woman and I would like to take you out to dinner. And I think that this dinner could lead to a beautiful relationship that could last for years and years and, and, and possibly even the rest of our lives. Lives that could be filled with passion and love and a happiness neither of us have ever known. is your problem. What? You think you can just fucking walk up to someone and say whatever the fuck you want? Sorry? What the fuck? What the fuck is your problem? Okay. What? You think you can just fucking walk up to me and say whatever the fuck you want? Bye.
Paco took a trip. Well, Paco took a trip of self-actualization. Paco took a trip. Well, Paco's little trip was a song of inspiration. So wake up, wake up, wake up, and what would not go? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, and what would Smack, 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 smack. Oh, God.